All right, so you're looking to make a dessert to impress your blind date with or your significant other whom you haven't made anything for Valentine's Day for the last 20 years. Well, these tea poached pears and chocolate sauce are gonna be super awesome because they look fancy and they're easy to make. So they're gonna love you for it. So as always, all the ingredients that you need are listed below. Let's get started. Okay, as we indicated, we're poaching these pears in tea. So grab some black tea. You're gonna need four tea bags. And we're gonna put these in three cups of boiling water. And then we're gonna turn it off. Now we're also gonna add a quarter cup of sugar and let this steep for 15 minutes. While this is steeping, go ahead and grab four firm Bosque pears. We're gonna slice them in half, peel them, and then make sure you get the seeds out. Make sure you peel them first. All right, we're also gonna zest one half of a navel orange. It's been 15 minutes, so let's go ahead and remove our tea bags and give it a good stir to make sure the sugar is dissolved. All right, now we're gonna bring the tea back to a boil. And once we get there, we're gonna throw in our pears, our orange zest, and our vanilla. All right, we're gonna give this a good stir. That citrus smell is delightful. All right, so once we are simmering, which we're almost there, we're gonna turn it down to keep it on a low simmer. And we're gonna cover this and let it simmer for 15 minutes. Fun fact! The Bosque pear was originally cultivated in France and named after the horticulturist Louis Bosque. Bosque pears are the perfect pears for baking and poaching due to their hardiness and firm texture. And if the Bosque pear looks oddly familiar, it's because many artists feature them in their paintings due to their unique shape and russeted skin. All right, 15 minutes is up. So apparently now we're supposed to take the peel out because it can get bitter. Not quite sure why they told us to zest it because it's obviously not easy to remove at this point. So maybe just slice off about half of a thing of orange rind uh, as opposed to zesting. I'm just going to get a strainer and see if I can do this. Okay, now we're gonna return everything back to the pot and boil for another 20 minutes on a simmer. All right, these pears are supposed to be tender, which they do seem, they seem fairly tender. Smells delightful. All right, so what we wanna do is reserve a cup of this liquid. So I'm going to put these pears into a bowl along with the rest of the liquid. We're gonna let these cool in this bowl for about an hour. So while this is happening, we're gonna go back to our cup of reserved liquid and we're gonna add about eight ounces of chocolate chips or chopped up chocolate. Now we wanna bring this to a simmer. It really should have been to a simmer already. We're just gonna keep stirring this until it's all dissolved. We're gonna let that sit for an hour too. We're just gonna let all this get to a room temperature and then we're gonna eat it. By the way, they mentioned eight ounces or around a half a cup measure that out. Do eight ounces of weight because that ain't half a cup. It's way more than that. Otherwise you're gonna have really liquidy chocolate. Ice cream is supposed to go really well with this. Now you can make your own, which we're actually gonna do in the future, or you can just buy some. Let's try. I am very excited for this. I haven't even had my dinner yet. It's delicious. The pears are tender. They're not overly sweet, nor is the chocolate. Nothing is overly sweet here, besides the ice cream. It's a great, simple, delicious, elegant dessert. The tea is a very, very underlying flavor. So if you're not a huge tea, Tea fan, it just it complements it. So don't get worried. All right, y'all. Impress your loved ones with this. They will be for sure impressed. I hope you liked what you saw today. 
If you did, hit a thumbs up. I would love you for it. Make sure to comment and share and subscribe and all that good stuff. I will see you all next time. many artists feature them in their paintings due to their unique shape. Shape is the word I was looking for.